Hey guys, what's going on? It's Fast Second Book here, and uh, today we're just going to be doing a video we just uh, me and some friends played. Um, so it was our team versus their team. Um, I would say this is a very, not so much very, but it's a very decent skill cap to this game. Um, we had like uh, a lot of plays that um, were good and very bad, so I'm just going to go through and sort of pick out what I had noticed and just try and help you guys to understand the game and maybe just, you know, pick up on little things and uh, hopefully improve your gameplay with these videos. So we're just going to go ahead and start it up and I'll start recording at the very um, start of the game and, you know, then as you can see here, this is the characters lineup. Um, so yeah, there's a couple of unorthodox picks, um, but you due to we use um, a system basically an external web browser to select champions and ban a champion each and then we go from the pick order similar to League of Legends however it's only one ban due to the character pool being so small you can't really have more than like you can't really have three bans otherwise very little team comps would be able to you know be available to uh, create decent ones it would be very unstable with who you're picking and all that sort of thing so yeah we use that um, but yeah we'll just get into this game and then um, I'll go through and pick out little things so yeah I hope you all enjoy and we're back in so as you can see we have uh, in the opponent's team we have a Valor, Lily, Stitches, Sylvanas and Lost Vikings over here we have Felstead, Uthar Abatha, Illidan, and a Chen. Uh, the bands were Diablo and ETC, so this is why, um, as of what would be considered meta, is not being used quite right. So yeah, this uh, maps cast hollows. So essentially how this works is, um, tributes get spawned um, at certain points within the game, uh, as you can see in these little circle areas. And basically, when you get three, it costs the enemy team, creating a um, minions to have only one health, so you can push down a lane. Uh, this here is very good um, for picking up uh, ganks in the early game. As you can see here, we, uh, with the minions starting to push through, we're like, okay, something fishy's going on, like, no one's in lane. Um, down bottom, we're like, they're, they're communicating to us, saying no one's there, so we're, I'm staying back right now. I'm not really doing anything. Um, just because I feel like this is about to happen, um, which is really good. We've stopped a gank, essentially. Um, Stitches is going to be roaming from lane to lane. This is how Stitches is going to be playing this game. He's going looking out for hooks um, on the enemy team. Um, and these two right here are going to be pressuring this bottom lane. Me with Lily, I'm not committing myself because I know he's around the corner somewhere. Um, and we just have the three Vikings up here. It's, it is better to split the Vikings, however, um, I guess he was trying to um, see if the Vikings were strong as a three to see if he could just push down a lane. But yeah, no less. So the Abathur is um, basically, you got to be careful with this Abathur because if he w was to know where Abathur was, he could come through here and hook through. But um, we didn't see that happen. I'm um, just trying to get some poke damage here. Basically, I'm just backing off because I don't know, as like you would assume, I can't tell where everyone is. I mean, I can, but you never know if a Lily or a Valor was coming up. So I was very careful with that. This happening right here, we got the Abathur to come down because the extra Locust will help push this off for a little bit. Um, it's a bit hard to stop this sort of push with me having to stay middle and Chen's having to stay top. Hence why they gain a level advantage right now, because they're getting away with pushing these down. But we can't really stop it, so it's not too big of a problem. Sorry about that, guys. It's probably a bit better now. I just realized the sound was awfully high. So they're pushing these three down, and um, as it stands for, like, okay, they're basically about to be a level up on us, so not so much talent, but stat basis wise, they're going to be up on us, and we don't really want to fight to this, so we're like, okay, we'll just keep soaking right now, see how um, we're getting this XP advantage back right now. Um, and this is because they don't have um, person in middle lane, 
Um, and we've just basically given this away. We're like, okay, we're not going to contest for it, and I'm going to pick up the Giants over here. Um, I eventually uh, head up to do these at some point. Yep, right here. I'm using the Abathur to our advantage and being able to assist me in doing this. So these giants are going to push through. It's not the best against Sylvanas because she can obviously kill these really easily without them actually doing anything. But the Abathur is keeping them off, and which is fine. Now we're going to lose this, but um, as you can see, we still have a... Um, we're still level 6. Um, they are a little bit of XP ahead, but it's fine because now that they're taking this, even though they will have the XP advantage early, when it comes to the late game, because we've been soaking better, um... We're gonna when we do clear this, we're gonna be at levels up. At least that's how it stands. It may not be the outcome, but yes. So they're pushing this down, and with um, we're just trying to, I guess, um, soak without fighting here because there's no point in fighting. Um, they're a talent up technically right now, and just levels in general is just really strong. So I got this fight here. Um, remember that Stitches is always going to go for the hook when he's furthest away from you. So um, as you can see there, I used my sweep to get away. Now we're commencing in on these guys because we realize that these guys are not near their tank or their other DPS. So we pick up a kill here. Remembering to always clear the healing ward when it, when it um, gets put down because that it can stop you know a lot of healing. As well as heading back, because we have the fly, so we can use the mobility of uh, Felstead to our advantage. So we pick up one tribute here, which is really good. Sadly, the Abathur uh, goes for a bit of a cocky play and um, gets killed for that, but it's all good in the hood. As well as coming up here, he's going to try to get a sneaky kill on this guy. Good disengage, got it out of there, really good. So these two are picking up this, which is really good at this point. However, they're still not soaking bot, so it could be um, hindering their XP as it stands. We try to do the uh, sneaky uh, medium camp here, or bruises. We see this Valor come through. Oh, wait, no, she turned back. That was really close. I thought she came down. Well, okay, sorry, no, they're saying up for this, and we're like, okay, we don't care about that. Um, just because of the fact that we, they still need one more tribute after that, so we we're going to be like, okay, let's take our luck, like, let's test our luck with trying to take that boss. However, they may return the favor. As well as up here, he gets picked off. And as you can see, this game's not going very well for us. We're, um, getting, basically getting caught out in, uh, a little, couple of little silly mistakes every now and then. However, we do pick this up which is very crucial because this is going to now going to push this down and we're going to get our, our XP level advantage back well we're going to equal it out so they're getting theirs done and I'm like okay I'm going to commit to doing this because if we do make it there in time we're scattered um, however we did have the feeling that they were doing boss we could have maybe intercepted but I just don't think we would have gotten it in time. With this now um, hanging up to here, we c we're at the point where um, we know they're set up because they were just at boss, but um, we're going to have to go and try and, you know, stop them gaining this because we're level we're both level 10 now. Sure, they may be a level up now, but we're both level 10. Um, and, you know, if we had a fort there, it could have been good, but it could have been bad because um, basically they got their third tribute. Which means now we're gonna, they're going to get an even bigger level advantage. We do still have this boss pushing down up here, uh, down here, which is really good for us, um, especially during curse. So we commit to a fight here now. As you can see, um, uh, the Sylvanas is at the back, which is what you always want to be doing. Um, you, you, she has a long range, so you've definitely got to um, use that to your advantage. Now this is where the mistake that um, I make as the Illidan gets played here. Um, you'll see me go for this Valor, which is really silly. Um, I isolated away from the group, and I didn't use my ult to its full potential by hitting multiple targets and gaining extra health, as you'll see in this video. 
So after I got spat out, I'm like, okay, I need to go for this person. But at this point, I'm like, oh, it's too late. I need to back up. And what I really should have been doing is coming back here as soon as I got put out and altered this whole team. We realized at this point, we're like, okay, we're too, you know, we're too low. We need to get out. And, you know, I'm just like, oh, well, that was totally dumb of me because I'm useless in this fight now. We both back out. We try to uh, clear this giant. Azur gets picked up here from this stun. Um, and, you know, I have misplayed very bad there, but, um, we'll try and, you know, work before we can and get this done. I'm backing up right now because there's no point in me running into this and dying because then they could possibly clear, uh, this and get the game with this golem. So, at this point, Clapton's going pretty deep. It's not exactly a, um, it's a calculated risk and I think he did very well with it. Um, this, uh, Vala's doing very well in, you know, um, basically just then, she got out when she, um, was in the midline, and right now, she knows when to, uh, fight, as you could see there. At this point, we're realizing, we're like, okay, um, I, I was like, I need to get there, because we can do a clean up on this. The Vala has to get out, she has no mana. So I come through here, we get a couple, we pick up a couple kills here, and, uh, the Abathur was just helping clear this, by the way, with his Locust and whatnot. So after we pick these two up, we're like, okay, we got this decent level advantage going. Well, we're equaling it out, which is very good. Sorry, just getting a message. Uh, yeah, so basically at this point in the game, we're like, we just need to soak, um, you know, uh, basically get camps where we can because there's no other objectives on the map right now. Clapton was way overextended. Um, he got picked up. He got picked up, and that really kind of hindered this part in the game. Like we're getting further and further behind. They're going to be pushing down for this mid. Stitcher's lost his hook, so now we know that Stitcher doesn't have his hook. So as you can see, as those being aggressive, a lot more aggressive. Um, Demise popped his uh old. Uh, however, I don't think it was the right move, but it definitely did hinder them from pushing here. Demise is basically wasting his ult. That ult's the Abathur ult. And another Stitcher's hook um, is down, so now at this point we're like, okay, we know that the Stitcher's hook is down. We're okay to be a bit more aggressive here, and as you can see. Now at this point, what's happened is... Um, I vaulted in as Illidan, and I've gotten hit in a couple more targets, and this time now I've gotten a lot more HP, so I'm a lot more tanky in this circumstance. As you can see, i got a lot more bars. Um, now the Vikings are over here, and they're fighting under tower. Since Curse is now um, done, basically we're at the point where we need to aim this. They'll all try to come back in, and then we're going to turn on them. That's the way we're going to have to do this, because Azur's getting um, attacked over here. How, and we're um, in between, you know, the Vikings. Um, this is a better shield, in my opinion, just to have it here. And basically, we're going to turn around ice, uh, and kill this Viking. Um, if these two come back in, then we'll be changing targets to either Phoenix or James. Or Valor and Sylvanas, sorry. So let's see how it plays out, because I can't remember how it plays out. <laughs> So we're aiming Sylvanas here. I'm backing out because I'm like, okay, I'm way too weak. I, I really can't be dying here. The shield gets popped on me and I waste the shield. I should have just gone straight back in. At this point, I'm like, okay, I need to try and get out the best way I can. I try to use my Q to get back over to these minions, but I die in the process. Azur's surviving, so um, Azur's going to try and get out of here. And we go back to defend. But as you can see, um, the level advantage really hindered us there. We basically lost that fight um, basically just on the fact that um, the not so much the level advantage but the position as well and our targets to aim were very um, they weren't being consistent with um, the team like uh, a couple people aim different things and that definitely hindered us so Phoenix is picking up this a very smart move in my opinion um, at this point we're kind of just like okay they're more than likely going to be doing boss um, when it comes up and when we see this, we we basically are under the assumption, okay, they're going to do boss, and we can't stop it. So, um, best option here would be to go down and get this. Uh, yep, so we're going to go down and get it. 
these are set, these guys are setting up. Um, this is what I would assume they're thinking. Okay, they're thinking we're going to be doing boss, so they're going to try and catch us out. We weren't trying to play greedy here. We were just trying to, you know, get this level advantage back, um, tilting in our favor, and which we tried to do. Now this part here is very dangerous. If that hook had of hit, that would have been game changing. And now we're like, okay, the hook's down. We need to head up for uh, top. Arcana gets picked off here, and there's literally nothing we can really do about it. Will he get away? That hook was very, very strong there. However, they have now wasted time with trying to get this to kill. So, um, in doing so, they're possibly going to go boss. And this is when we ch uh, decide the decision. Okay, if they're doing our boss, we need to go do uh, theirs. Because if they're committing all, like, a heap of people to do this, um, then we know that, okay, there's going to be a lot up there. And we also have this vision here to know if they're coming down for us. Um, we were under the assumption that they may come down, so with this in mind, we were like, okay, uh, we'll see them coming, essentially. Abathur pops his ult to um, Evolution and Illidan, so we get this done really quickly, which is really good. And now we're like, okay, we need to definitely get out of here because they're going to be folding in on us. We're slowly getting this level um, advantage back, um, however, yo, it still is very low, so we don't want to be fighting. I try, I had to um, back there. If I had to kept running, I would have got caught and it would have been very, very um, bad for the team. So we're just killing Golem and they're going to kill uh, our Golem. Average play right here to do this. There's no point to attack with it when you could get wiped here and die, so, or vice versa. Sylvanas is doing the smart move here. She's just playing, um, making sure that, well, there's nothing else to do. Or, well, you know, this is getting cleared. It's not going to get this keep. So you might as well go for another objective like these. Hence what, you know, we're doing right now. At this point, this is the part in the game where we're like, okay, we're only one level behind. And, you know, we have our ults up. We need to fight this. So this is where uh, the big fight's going to happen to decide this game. The hook was missed. Okay, so this is the part where this um, fight goes uh, is going to go one way or the other. So Chen, our tank, is going in now. They're going to have to either choose to um, aim him and try and nuke him down as fast as possible. Or basically wait out cooldowns and then not hurt the Chen, uh, the Chen and let him you know mess up there. Uh, front line and possibly back line. Um, it, I feel like it was a mistake for James to be getting this because um, it would have been better for a Viking or even just Lily to do it. Um, it doesn't matter if someone's doing this. If it was to be a Stitches doing it or even you know uh, a Viking, it's n it's not going to look any more of a bait. So with us engaging right now, we're in the situation where um, we're ready to fight. Even though they could blow everything on this. Um, Chen's going to have his ult to barrel roll them away, and, um, yeah, so we'll see how this goes. Ill, um, as Illidan, I'm going to be aiming to try and hit the Vikings to try and gain the HP boost. Uh, so yeah, let's see how this plays out. As you could see, they didn't choose to blow up Clapton. They start to aim me, that was a very good ult. That lightning strike. At this point, we're all getting rather low, but I'm back in the mix now, so I'm just starting to try and aim um, a Viking, just get him out. I end up going for the Sylvanas here because she's an easier target. Uh, Arcana, as you can see right there, um, go back if you missed it, but Arcana, as the Banshee wave was on the tip of its, um, I guess, extent, um, Arcana chose to stun the Sylvanas and which meant she couldn't reactivate the ability to jump over here in sh uh, basically in short ensuring the kill which was very very good for this fight so let's see how the rest of it plays out with Arcana dead he can keep healing me and this basically becomes a one sided fight because uh, Illidan can out damage the Lili's healing At 
At this point, Azor's like, okay, I can't stay because I'm getting low, and he left it to me to get. So I'm going to pick up this tribute right here, and then possibly proceed to go down and do this. Um, so Felstead will proceed to clear middle and then uh, top, and then go down and get this. I'm going to head up and snatch these two for a little bit of this, um, try and get this level advantage. So basically, um, this next fight is going to determine whether or not we win or lose here. Um, due to the, well basically off the assumption that um, death timers are really high now, so if more than um, three of us die, or more of three of them die, and no, the, uh, no one on the opposite team dies, then um, that'll be game. Notice now though, um, this bottom lane always getting pushing because they do not have a uh, keep heal. So this is um, basically, I guess, the negative effect of not having this. However, we have this uh, as well. So, you know, we've got like um, this lane game pushed for them and we have this lane game pushed for us. So these are the points you're going to be wanting to push for, depending on which team is uh, you were on. At this point, um, we're about to get a level advantage. So... Uh, if we hit 20 before the fight, that's um, that's what we're going to be wanting to do. We're going to be wanting to aim to get um, 20 before we fight because then we'll be getting those 20 talents, which is very big. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, they're setting up for a fight, possibly. Nope, okay. Uh, we're going to set up down here. Now, this is the part where this game gets decided. We're making sure to stay out of range of the hooks. We don't really want to do it. Um, when we see these three go in, we're like, okay, we need to go for the fight here. They get blown up really quickly. He has to pop his ult. And now the Vikings are basically useless. I ult in. Um, Stitches, Stitches ulted me here and put me in his stomach with a gorge um, ability, his ultimate. Um, it wasn't very like it wasn't a good decision. However, if they had have um, aimed uh, even just Demise, who was in... Uh, the evolution um, Felstead that would have been fine as well but um, if this stitches brings me to his backline that's not good at all so yeah, let's see how this goes now I have an easy um, I basically am just aiming some of the Vikings here I noticed that Phoenix and James are together so I'm going to definitely go in for that I pick up this Sylvanas here because that's going to be a pick off that if we need um, I head back down, and as you can see, they've cleared majority of the team. Um, and at this point, after we grab this, we're like, okay, we've got Curse. Minions are going to be pushing insanely hard, and we call for the end if we possibly can. So at this point, we're not trying to really aim um, these guys. We're just going straight for the core and trying to end it. And as you can see we get the win right here because they uh, are not going to be up in time and we snag the win here all in all very good game um, a lot of uh, plays that were done in here for example um, the top uh, with the top with me following in on the Valor was very bad um, however, in the end, we definitely uh, picked up on you know our strengths, as well as the fact that we fight we fought when we were 20, and um, they should have possibly backed out because they weren't 20 yet. So, with that all in mind, um, that's what the team fight came down to, and that's why I feel we won that. So yeah, I hope this video has been um, entertaining as well as you know giving a um, perspective on the game um, to try and learn from. So, yeah, this is just going to be a video I'm going to put up, obviously. And um, I hope to see you guys all in the next video. Uh, if you have any questions or you want to add me in game, go ahead. I'll leave my uh, Battle.net ID down in the description if you would like to add me and, you know, um, possibly send, you know, something through to say or what you would like to see or. Uh, anything like that if you wanted me to do like I guess a champion spotlight I could do that as well and give you my opinion on the champion but yeah 
So um, I hope you guys all had fun watching. I hope I showed you a different aspect to this game um, and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, hope you all have a good day. Um, peace out.